some crazy new VFX are now possible, plus an honest review of the new video gen models, VO3 is now available without paying for the subscription, and Kira goes berserk and starts punching random celebrities in the face. Okay, hello, that wasn't me. We don't really have any proof that it wasn't you. You don't have any proof that it was. So you did do it. You're an idiot. Anyway, there's been some massive updates in the AI video world with Midjourney's new video model, Maymax aka Hilaw version 2, and the new model everybody's raving about, which is C-Dance Pro from ByteDance. Now in general, Clean AI is considered to be the best and highest quality video generation tool, so we're going to use Clean as the baseline of comparison. So here we're in Clean AI, and first we're testing out the text to video with Clean 2.1 Master. Right here, I basically just prompted for this battle scene where this character is running into this horde of soldiers. So now moving on to C-Dance, previously we only had access to the light version. However, I'll have this platform linked down below where you actually have access to C-Dance Pro. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, C-Dance Pro will already be available on all kinds of different apps. In any case, here's what we got from C-Dance Pro. And I have to say this is a bit underwhelming. Overall, it's just not really that impressive, in my opinion, and it has kind of that more CGI look, uh, more so than being realistic. And now moving on to the mid-journey version, pretty cool, but again, I would expect to see this on a video game or something like that. Overall, it's just pretty okay. But now moving on to High Law, and I gotta say, this one came out really, really good. This looks like a cinematic movie. The physics are super realistic. The camera motion's just bringing you right into the action and making you feel like you're there. So for this test, High Law hands down is the winner. So once again, looking at all of these side by side, here's what it looks like. So that was the text to video test, but now let's move on to the image to video test. In this case, this right here was my starting image and I wanted to create a sort of high action scene where I am riding this jet ski through a canyon and there's a boat chasing me, shooting guns and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So let's check out what we got from Kling. Okay, and I have to say this one came out super awesome. It's super action packed. The physics are realistic. It's going through the canyon. The boat is chasing, guns are shooting. Really great job from Kling here. However, just for fun, I also did the normal Kling 2.1. This one actually came out really good as well. It's not quite as good as 2.1 Master, but overall really nice. Now moving on to C-Dance. Now I was actually expecting this to get censored, so I'm pretty happy that it didn't. This one was actually a blooper where I forgot to change the prompt. So it has the scene where I'm on the jet ski and then suddenly I'm on the back of a horse riding into the army, but we still have the jet ski handlebars, so that's nice for horseback riding. But I thought this was good to show because this is really what all the hype is about with C-Dance because it's able to create these multi-shot scenes which could potentially be really nice for filmmaking. On the other hand, if you don't really know what you're going to get on those additional shots and you need things that are very specific, that could also be pretty frustrating. So I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, now moving on to the actual test here. And this one came out very realistic, but... I don't seem to be in much of a hurry and I just got shot about 10 times, but apparently bullets are just not really a big deal to me. Now moving on to mid-journey, in typical mid-journey fashion, we just got censored and weren't able to do anything. And finally moving on to Hyla, this one came out pretty good, but it's just not quite right. I mean, for one thing, the guy on the boat is just shooting at the wall. And overall, it's really good, but it's just a little bit off, doesn't look quite right. I went ahead and tried it two times, and actually the second one came out worse than the first one. So in terms of text-to-video, this was definitely the best hands down. However, when it comes to image-to-video, Kling definitely won this one by far. So once again, here are all of the best ones side by side. In other news, VO3 is now available on FAL, which basically means you can now use VO3 without having to pay for the VO3 membership. So here in FAL, it basically works the same exact way if you are using it directly on VO3 itself, but in this case, you're just paying on usage rather than paying for the subscription. To be fair, this is still not cheap at all. You're still paying 75 cents per second of video generated with audio, but this can still be really handy for those of you that are only using it sometimes and you don't necessarily need a subscription, but you still want to create videos here and there. So here's a little sample that I made. Let's check it out. 
Listen, I don't know why you all are hating on Tinder. I've been having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so there you go. And just for context, here's the same exact prompt being used directly inside of VO3 itself. Listen, I don't know why you all are hating on Tinder. I've been having a great time. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so as you can see, there's really no difference between using it through FAL or BO3 directly. So now let's talk about what's been going viral lately. Here I'm in a tool called vidbuzz.io and I'll have the link for this down in the description below. But as you can see, I have this filter to the most popular AI videos over the last 30 days. And right now we're looking specifically on Instagram. So right now the number one video is this one right here. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so basically cats jumping into a pool. And if we go over to the actual account right here, we can see that video has 240 million views. And I've actually been seeing a lot of these diving board videos popping off recently. And the way people are making these is if we come into Hyla right here, I'm gonna switch this over to agent. And switching into agent, these are basically templates where the AI agent will make these types of videos for you. Right here at the top, we have the animal diving board one. Let's check it out. So in order to make one of your own, all you have to do is come to this agent, clip, try it now. And then from here, you just drop in a picture of any sort of animal that you want, and then it will go ahead and create this video for you. So when it comes to these diving board Olympic videos, that's basically how people are doing it. Now, there's also been a lot of questions about how I create these types of transitions like this. So all I did here was come into VidBuzz and generate some images, and then I downloaded this image right here. And then I just switched out the characters, and so if I switch this to Sally and click this button again, it should now generate some similar images with the Sally character. Okay, and so as we can see, we now have the Sally character right here. And now I'll switch the character again and continue this process. So now coming into Design, which by the way, I'll have the link for all of these tools down in the description below. But here I'm gonna go ahead and drag in this image of myself. And now I'll click the AI editor, come to the eraser. And here I'm just going to trace around everything here so that it basically highlights me here and click this button. And it should basically just remove me from this image. Okay, so now we have this empty setting. And so after adding Sally, I'm just going to remove the background on her image and then I'll size this up. So we end up with something like this, and I'll just repeat this process for each character. And so after doing that, I now have each character in the scene with the same background. So now all I have to do is come here into Higgsfield. Now Higgsfield is famous for all of its really cool AI effects and transitions. So in this case, I'm just going to come up here to create. I'll drag in my first image here on the starting frame, and then drag in the next character on the end frame. And now I'll come up here to change the effect. And so as we can see, I can choose any of these effects to transition from one image to the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this turning to metal one. And for the prompt, I just said a man morphs into a woman. So let's see what happens with that. And so after doing that, here's what we ended up with right here. So I'd say that came out pretty good. I went through and did this with all of the characters. Again, just transforming from one image to the next using different effects. And so now I have all my clips into Premiere Pro, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them next to each other. And as we can see, it just transitions from one to the next. On a side note, I was also made with vidbuzz.io. The process is pretty simple. I'm just going to take a screenshot of one of Scotty's YouTube videos right here. And then coming into vidbuzz, I'm going to click this little button again and paste that image right here. So now coming into the AI canvas, I'll go ahead and pop open the media library once again and select this image. Now clicking this prompt, I now have a prompt based on this image. But here I'm just going to modify it to say, make the man into a woman. Okay, so now it's going to modify the prompt so that there is a woman in the image instead. And now I'll just come and switch this to character mode and I'll go ahead and select myself, Kira, quick generate. And just like that, we now have me as a YouTube presenter in this little YouTube studio. Obviously, I don't want to be wearing Scotty's stupid outfit, so I would continue to modify the prompt from here, but you get the idea. Now, here in the Creator Secrets community, if I come to the classroom, Scotty goes into a lot more detail about this. If I click on the influencer section, he has everything from creating a character from scratch to fixing the plastic look, refining your character, face repair methods, and so on. So if you want to create an AI influencer or an avatar just like me, 
That is where you can find that information. Next up, despite what Scotty thinks, no, I'm not going around punching anybody in the face, but shout out to this account right here who is taking advantage of a very, very simple AI effect. And while these videos aren't getting millions of views, they are getting tens of thousands and these literally take a couple of seconds to make each. So let's take a look at a few of these and check it out. So in order to make these, we just have to come back into haste field right here and I'll come down to the face punch effect and I'll just come right here to generate. And then just coming into Google right here, uh, since Will Smith likes to slap people in the face, maybe he's got this one coming. So we'll go ahead and take this image here. So now I'll just bring in Will Smith right here and I'll just leave the prompt blank and see what it comes up with. We'll click generate. Let's see what we get. And so after waiting for that, here's what we got. And there you go. Came out pretty good and extremely easy to do. Another emerging trend are these ASMR channels. Shout out to Prab Sim right here. I'm not gonna lie, these are actually super satisfying to watch and listen to. Let's check this one out. So there you go, you get the idea. And I think Donovan Stina kind of sums it up with his comment here on how this makes us feel. So these are all being done with Kling AI. In fact, they're running a contest right now on who can create the best ASMR videos. But either way, this is another one that is very, very simple to do. So if I just click this one, for example, and right here you can see the exact prompt being used. And so coming back into VidBuzz right here, I generated some similar images with the glass apple. And so now coming back into Kling, I'll drop the image there, paste my prompt, click the button. Let's see what we get. Okay, so after waiting for that, here's what we got. I went ahead and ran this two times. So here's the other output right here. So there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it with the ASMR. So all that stuff is really fun to do, but if you want to learn how to actually monetize your AI content creation on a professional level, that is exactly what we talk about here in the Creator Secrets community on school. Scotty has all of these different niche categories and shows how to monetize each category along with tutorials and examples, along with all the tools, systems, and workflows so that you can create content that actually makes money. Everything I talked about in this video can be found down in the description below. So that's it for this one. See you in the next video.